Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Edmonton Real Estate Today. And today I have two very special guests, Cheryl Stevens of Remax Real Estate and Keith Faria of Century 21 Masters. So Keith and Cheryl, welcome. Thank you. Thanks so for guys, me. yeah, so we're here to discuss the market in September. So we have some stats here saying that there were new listings of 27 40, so 2,740 listings. The sales were 1,387, and the inventory was 8,514 for the month of September. What do these numbers mean to a home buyer out there? Well, right now it means that they've got less competition, because I know as of last month, we're down about 200 sales. So there's 200 less buyers buying homes. And I know if you look at the numbers from last September, we're actually down about 150. So right now we're seeing that there's less buyers actually buying homes in these last few months. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I would agree with that. I think uh, this is the time of the year, every year in, in our region where inventory starts to drop. So what that means for buyers is buyers actually have less to choose from. So as they're going out and going shopping, not only when they see a house that they really like, they should uh, act on it. Right. Uh, and also, if they want to get that house, they should the, the offer should also reflect that. Right, right, right. When I know we were talking the other day, a couple of people, just the whole thing is, if that house shows well, and you know that buyer is sort of engaged by it, it's one of those like, yeah, jumping on it, because other people are going to feel the same way as they are, right? Yeah. So it's one of those that if the house shows well and it's priced well, it's not going to keep sitting. Yeah. Right, so they definitely, I think, have to make those decisions a little sooner than they might want to. Yeah. So. We're seeing changes in sales and in inventory. That's from the perspective of a home buyer. What about from the home seller in today's market? What do those numbers mean to them? What do you well, want to? Yeah, for, for me, what it means, I, I, like when I hear those numbers, uh, it, for me, it's opportunity for a seller. Um, they, they're able to even consider putting their house on the market. In, in, an, you know, in a time where, where listing numbers are going down, yes. this might be an opportunity to get it on the market, especially if you need to sell in this final quarter. And if you don't want to compete with the spring market, get it on now, take advantage of it, and, and you'll get your price. Well, and what I was thinking too, as you were saying is that, is the fact that sometimes the home sellers will put their home on the market, and they still need to do those kind of touch-ups, those couple things to make it pop a little more. But sometimes they wait a little too long, they do it the first week or the first two weeks. And I just find it so critical to have that house do all that, you know, that 10% that people leave, you know, touch up those nicks in the wall, you know, if they're missing baseboards. Those things, people, the buyers out there aren't going to be going, well, I don't mind spending 400000 on this house and then still having to do that. Mm -hmm. Most people, that just makes the buyers keep looking. So I think from a seller's point of view, they really need to get all those things done and then list it. So when it comes on, it pops. Yeah. Because again, it shows really well, and then if they price it well, they've got a way better chance, right? Yeah, no, agreed. And, and, and if we are in a low inventory time, make sure you're the nicest house yes. right. and, and price it appropriately. Make sure you're in a, make sure you're positioned well. Yeah, and don't you find that too with sellers, you know, needing to position their homes? It's it's not always the time to be testing the market, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, for sure. This is not the time to test. If you want to sell, position it right. Yeah, sell it. Awesome. The other numbers that were released by the board is about the average prices. So we're looking at the average price of a single family home being at about 420,000. The average price of condos are 217,000 and the average price of a duplex being 343,000. Now the, the length of time each of them are taking to sell, we're looking at single family homes about 59 days and condos and duplexes are taking on average 67 days to sell. So what do these stats mean to a home buyer and seller out there in today's market? Well, the first thing that jumped in my mind is actually the condo market, for example. For many, many months, they've been at average days on the market were like 70, 74. So I'm finding now that it's coming down, it could also be the fact that people maybe aren't qualifying for those higher price points and they're going to the condos as that next option, right? right? Mm -hmm. So I think that's one thing to consider. But I know we were talking earlier about price point and how that's really changed. The price is going down doesn't surprise me. I, and I think, you know, that 
until we see kind of what happens in the in the coming months with government and stuff like that, I think uh, we're just going to continue to see some some consistent numbers like days on market and, and inventory and some inconsistent numbers like price increases or drops. But don't you also find with the buyers right now, we, they've been told for so many months about it being this buyer's market and so then they're coming in really, really low at their price points mm -hmm. and I find that's really sort of, um, it's messing them up. Like it's almost like they're a hindrance on their own because they think they're going to get a steal of a deal and they may write an offer at 30000 under but the house has only been on the market two days so the mm -hmm. sellers are really, get frustrated and then the deal doesn't come together because people get their back up and I think it's one of those that the buyers need to be a little bit more uh, chatting with their realtor and mm -hmm. know is that house coming on at market value or is it you know, is it the seller's number or is it the market number, right? I would agree and I, and I also think it's important for the realtor to properly set the expectation for their buyer right. because if a buyer mm -hmm. is only, especially with the new bank rules, if a buyer is only approved for 350,000, then it's likely not appropriate to be shopping for 350 to 375. Yeah, good point. Let's get down into the right area because then market value will be market value as opposed to going to look at that house for 375 and trying to make an offer at 350. Yeah, good well, the point. seller's not going to do that. The seller is also being coached by his agent properly that, hey, listen, you know, what, what we thought your home was worth, that's starting to change. Prices have come down by 15,000. Mm -hmm. And so we're already asking sellers to be aggressive. So if, if a seller's being aggressive and then a buyer's being aggressive, there could be a twenty, thirty thousand dollar gap in right. between yeah. all of that. And yeah, so and it's I important find to set those expectation. People, don't you find too that then those people they both get their backs up? Yeah. And now I've I've actually seen buyers kind of leave the market because they're frustrated they didn't get the deal they thought they should. Yeah. When really the house was at market value. Mm -hmm. Right? Well and and, so. and then a seller is saying to his agent, What happened? Yeah. Why am I getting why am I getting this offer, you, you know, after everything that we've done to prepare this home? And so it's, it's really, really tricky, but I, you know, I believe that, you know, properly coached and properly led buyers and sellers will, will have success. I agree. Absolutely. Yeah. And so with having said all of that, where do you guys see the last quarter of this year trending towards? What do you see happening in the next uh, three months? The final quarter of pretty much every year for me, I, I look at it as opportunity because it seems to be, and the numbers are showing it, that, that the trend on everything is down. Sales are gonna be uh, slightly falling, inventory is dropping. Uh, so how, the way that I coach my clients is actually more about opportunity. Let's get your home on the market. Let's be one of the only guys on the market. Uh, I mean, we're gonna continue to price it appropriately. We're gonna understand what the market is doing, but let's get on instead of getting off. Right. Um, the, the final quarter of every year is, is, is often my, one of my best quarters and, and it's because of those reasons. Um, we, do, we do have some uncertainty, we got new government coming potentially, yeah. we don't know. <laughs> uh, bank, bank rules as, as far as we know right now is the same, they just held uh, the interest rate. I thought they were going to drop it but they held it yeah. and so it's, that's, that uncertainty has been here all year. Right, and, mm -hmm. and even coming into the final quarter of last year, buyers and sellers are adapting, trying to figure out how do I win in this market, and that's not gonna change. And so I'm not sure that any of those, I don't think any of those things are gonna change. Okay. And so for me, I like to go with information that, what do I know right now? Yeah. And <clears throat> so, so what, I, what I will be doing is encouraging uh, some clients, even that I maybe had advised not to hit the market, early in 2019, maybe to hit the market now. You Which know? makes sense, right? Because mm -hmm. then they're going to have less competition. Because I think that's one thing with buyers, if you're serious about getting a home, being out there now is important because those sellers want to sell, yeah. right? And the idea of that, you know, you have less competition all the way around, right? There's less homes on the market which means those sellers have less competition, but mm -hmm. then the buyers, same thing. Not everyone wants to be out there looking at homes when it's dark at five o'clock and minus 20. Totally. But there's definitely great homes to be bought and there's great opportunities still there, right? Yeah, that's the thing. And you know, I think a big misconception is, well, if my house is, is on the market in the winter, mm -hmm. that's gonna show too much motivation. That's gonna show that I'm desperate to sell. But the truth in our in our region is we are cold six months out of the year. Of the year. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter if you're on the market in the winter. Let's get it on the market. Right. What, the one thing I know if I'm if I'm working with buyer clients 
and I see a home for sale in the middle of November, I, I know that that seller is very serious. Right. And and we're gonna, you know, they're they're prepared to have their home ready and pr put it, position it properly in the market. They're gonna leave for us to come and, and view the home. Right, like, right. they're not messing around. They're not here to test the market or, right. or, or hopefully something works out. They're here to sell. And yeah. so uh, that would be exactly how I advise a seller client in this final quarter is let's, let's take this final quarter seriously. Let's get going, position it right and, and get on the market because there's gonna be a lot less competition. Yeah, and I agree, because I find too many people think, no, I'm gonna take it off now, Yes. because I've called on places, they're like, oh no, it's taking it off the market. I'm like, yeah, but I have a buyer right now, we interest it. Mm -hmm. So it's sad they miss out on that opportunity, and then they think that spring always brings a better market, but bringing more competition means supply and demand doesn't mean you're getting more money. No, totally, right? and it, if a buyer's qualified today, right. or if a buyer's qualified in March, it doesn't, right. they're still, like, if they're qualified now, let's go. Right. Exactly. right? I, yeah. I don't think anything, like bank rules aren't going to change, I don't think dramatically between now and right. spring market. Yeah. So are you, or I don't believe that sellers are going to make that much more money in March versus now. And, it, right. and in fact, it might be, they might not make, it might be break even and based on, right. the, on the data, it might even be less. Right. So why not, why not get it on now? All right, guys. Well, listen, uh, thank you very much for uh, sharing your insights on what the market is doing. And we look forward to hopefully seeing you guys again. Sounds All right. Good. Thank you. Later. Sure. No, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Keith. <laughs>